So, uh, to the teacher, I think the question here, if I understand it correctly, is you want to make up cycled products uh, uh, that you would then be selling uh, as a small business. Um, the first thing I just do want to warn you about, uh, I don't think this is a practical issue, but it is a true issue, is that if you make a product with a visible logo on it, let's say you make, I don't have an example here, but you make a bag uh, by sewing together chip bags and the Cheetos and Doritos logo are still on that bag, then you are in legal trademark violation uh, 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 and that could be an issue, especially if the business takes off. Now the chance of Frito-Lay suing you over that are low, but not zero. And I just want to preface that as a little asterisk to say just be careful. Um, so, uh, uh, so the, um, the way, you know, what I would look at, the easiest things are probably looking at flexible packaging. That's very, very easy to do craft work on uh, by either folding it or uh, sewing it. Um, so flexible packaging is probably where I would begin. Um, other areas that are sort of easy ones to look at would be things like pens, um, maybe uh, pots like yogurt tubs, uh, margarine tubs, things of that nature. If you're interested in sort of uh, brainstorming this further, um, our uh, uh, head of global design uh, 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 is a lady by the name of Tiffany. You could email her at Tiffany at TerraCycle.com and, uh, and see if she'll give you some ideas. I'm sure she'll be open uh, to that. But I would look at probably flexible packaging is a good place, then simple rigids uh, like yogurt pots or pens. And I'd stay away from things that are dirty uh, or unsanitary, uh, like cigarettes or dirty diapers. Those are a little bit more uh, difficult and require more industrial processes uh, to be able to solve.